Well, welcome to lesson 3.6 on fractions. And this time, rather than dividing a whole number by a fraction or a fraction by a whole number, which you have just done here and here, it's now time to move on to dividing fractions by a fraction. So now, rather than having a 4 or a 6, you're now going to have something like 4 fifths. The process, really, is the same thing we've been using. And you'll, you'll see really easy that it's, it's actually, the reason this lesson is only two pages long is that you have all the pieces you have or you need to, to actually complete the dividing. So if you take a look at our first example, we had 4 divided by 5 over 6. Our first thing was that we had to deal with the fact that we had a 4 here without a denominator. And we learned that 4 was over 1. And of course, that changed our question to look like this, 4 over 1 divided by 5 over 6. Now, to divide this, the 5 over 6 became its reciprocal. So this becomes 6 over 5. The 4 over 1 doesn't change. And now we can multiply. So we have 4 times 6 over 1 times 5, which gave us 24 over 5. Over on the next one, you'll notice that we don't have a whole number to change uh, to put over the denominator of 1, we just have straight fractions. So rather than having to deal with a step here, we just can go straight to this step here. You'll notice they're very similar. So the 2 thirds does not change. You multiply by the reciprocal, which is 7 over 5. And now, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, 2 times 7 is 14, and 3 times 5 is 15. Now, believe it or not, that's all there is to it. You just take, flip it, some people like to think of this as a, a swear word, flip and multiply. But it basically means you take the second one, you flip it, and then you multiply. So if you hate dividing, Think of it as swear words, flip and multiply. So let's take a look at the next example here. 3 over 4 divided by 7 over 8. So what I'd like you to do is pause the recording and try this one. Okay, here we go. First, flip and multiply. The 3 over 4 does not change, but the 7 over 8 becomes 8 over 7. So now that we've got a flipping part done, now we multiply. This becomes 3 times 8 over 4 times 7. 3 times 8 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28, and we need to reduce this, so to do this, you can just divide both of these by 4, because 4 goes into both, 24 divided by 4 is 6, 28 divided by 4 is 7, so there is your answer, and yes, you always have to reduce, I suppose marking this, you probably have to write the question down if it was a word problem, flipping, multiply, what you got, and reduce it. So a question like this would commonly, commonly be counted out of five marks. Okay, mini test time. I've got four questions here. I'd like you to pause the recording and do all four, and then we will mark it. And if you get them all right, you can go on to the assignment. If not, I want you to take a new piece of paper and try it all over until you can get these all done correctly. So here we go. Pause the recording and divide seven, six sevenths divided by three quarters. All right, here we go. So. Flip and multiply. So 6 over 7 times 4 over thirds. So now multiply. 6 times 4 over 7 times 3. 6 times 4 is 24. 7 times 3 is 21. And now you can divide both of these by 3 to reduce them. Or you use your calculator's ABC button. 24 divided, divided by 3 is 8. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. So your answer is 8 over 7 or 1 and 1 seventh. The second question, again, flip and multiply. That gives you 9 over 25. And in this case, there's no reducing required. 6 over 11 divided by 3 over 11. Keep the first one the same. Make the second one its reciprocal. 6 times 11 over 11 times 3 gives us 66 over 33, which is equal to 2. And the last question. Leave the first fraction alone, multiply by the reciprocal of the second one, 
top times top, bottom times bottom, gives you 3 times 12, which is 36, over 4, which in this case is nothing. If you have any questions, go back over it, do the questions in these examples here until you can do them without any hesitation and with full confidence. When you've done that, you can then tackle the assignment. Until next time, have a good time. Enjoy yourself.